Hey guys and welcome back to another Tech Tune GB episode. Today we're going to be reviewing the Buffalo Link Station TS421. Now in this review we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to be pulling some files straight off the device using a wired internet connection. We're also going to be transferring files to the device using a wired internet connection. We're going to be using Buffalo's Link Station web access app on the iPad. We're going to be using the web access uh, HTML site on the computer and we're going to be streaming files straight off the device over Wi-Fi. Uh, so stay tuned to see how this stands up. Alright guys, so now I'm showing you my screen. I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do once you've got your NAS all plugged in and set up. Uh, so that's going to be plugging your Ethernet cable and power cable basically. So you're going to want to head over to Buffalo's website and download their latest version of NAS Navigator 2. Uh, so once that's downloaded and installed, you should see your NAS here. Now when I first done this, I didn't uh, my NAS wouldn't pop up or it come up with some error. Uh, so I just have to update the firmware and that seems to fix that problem. Uh, if your NAS doesn't pop up, just try hitting refresh and then it should. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you what happens when you go to the settings tab. Now it's just going to launch your uh, internet browser. Uh, so in my case it's just Google Chrome. And this brings you into the uh, Buffalo settings page. Uh, here's where you enter your getting started guide, web access, BitTorrent client, VLNA support, USB device server and advanced settings. So I'm going to head into the advanced settings first. Type in my ultra secure password there. And that's going to take you to the uh, settings tab. This way you can access your folder setup. So that's what folders are being shared, SMB, AFP and FTP servers and also the web access on and off switch. I'll show you web access in a, little, in a few minutes. Uh, this is where you access your drives. You can format drives, uh, change around your grade array, grade arrays and play with that. Uh, the services tab. Uh, this is where you turn on DLA server, iTunes server, so you can serve all your music off your iTunes uh, straight to any devices in the house. You've got a USB device server, uh, so you can plug in a USB drive straight into the drop, um, uh, uh, link station and have all the files served to anyone. Uh, you have a printer server so you can connect any non wireless printer and make it so you can access it wirelessly. Applications uh, it's got a BitTorrent server so you can have your files straight going straight onto the NAS without having um, to go through a PC as well. Network so you can mess around with the IP address and ping the device to make sure it's connection properly. Uh, backup you can have it do a um, Schedule backups so you're never um, going to lose files or anything like that. It's also time machine support. And then management where you can play around with the email notifications, uh, UPS sync, uh, date and time, and update and all that sort of thing. Right, so now I'm going to head on and show you the web access. Right, to access the web access, what you're going to need to do is go to buffalo.com forward slash and then the name uh, buffalo nas sorry dot com and then forward slash the name of your nas so in this case the nas is called tech team gb now if you're on a network outside of your local network it'll bring up your um, external ip address and all that sort and what you're going to want to do once your page is loaded you want to hit login then type in your username so in my case it's just admin and then the password for your nas And then you can see it allows me to access all of the files straight away. So this can be accessed from anywhere around the world. Yeah, it's a really cool feature, really nice and works very well. Alright guys, so now I'm going to map this as a network drive and test to see how fast the files uh, transfer on and can be pulled off. So to map the network drive you just want to right click on it and then click map to share. Once that's done, I've already done that, you're going to want to head over to Explorer and then you should see your drive there. Now I'm just going to put this test file on here and then we'll see how quick it takes to transfer it onto the device. Right, so there you go, it's going about 60-ish megabytes per second. And there we go, that is done. That will take about already about 15 seconds. I'll have a little timer pop up on the screen. And now we're just going to copy that same files back onto the desktop. And see how long that takes. Right, 
Right, so that's probably roughly about the same sort of time. The reading should be slightly faster. Uh, the drive that I'm using in the NAS at the moment is a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Green. Uh, so nothing too out of the ordinary, uh, what most people would probably be using. But this device does also support RAID capabilities as well. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be testing the Web Access app available for both Android and iOS. So I'm using this on an iPad at the moment. Uh, so you're going to want to head over to the App Store and download the Web Access app. Right, once that loads up, you're going to head over and see your NAS list. So you can see uh, the Link Station 41 at the top there. Just tap on that. Then you're just going to go through a quick waiting screen, click a file list at the top, and then you can see my shared directory there. Once I've clicked on that, you can see the two files I've got there. Uh, my first one's called Tom. And then that's all the files in there. So you can use this to access Word documents, movies, uh, but I'm going to show you a file streaming movie uh, in a minute. I'm just going to move on into my living room where I've got a bit of a stronger Wi-Fi connection. Uh, in this room it's not very strong. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so now I'm in a room where the Wi-Fi signal is significantly stronger. I'm going to head over to that same app again and show you a bit of video streaming off the PlayStation 41. Now this is where I encountered the only problem with the NAS. It seems to have some strange problem when streaming video files. It seems to lag and just refuse to buffer the video. Um, I'm not sure if this is something that I'm doing wrong or if it's something wrong with the NAS itself. Uh, I'm not sure. I've tested quite a few different things such as using it on different networks. I've reset the NAS. I've upgraded the firmware uh, to the latest version but I can't seem to get it to be fixed. But I'm just going to demonstrate that for you now. So here's that test file that I showed putting on there earlier. And that right is not disappearing, that's just showing you that it's not loading. Yeah, it just refuses to load, it takes ages to watch just a short, short few seconds of a clip. Uh, but to show you that's not just the app, I've got a third party file browser app. Uh, it's just called File Browser, you can get this from any uh, app store. Click on the Mac itself, going back to the same shared directory. Clicking that exactly the same test file, and you can see once again it's having exactly the same problem as the Buffalo NAS app did. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if this is something that I'm doing wrong or there's something with the NAS. Uh, it's probably something that I'm doing wrong, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, so now I'm going to wrap this video up with the conclusion. Alright guys, thanks for watching this review of the Buffalo Link Station 41 and a huge thanks to Buffalo for sending us this to review. Uh, the NAS is really quite a great NAS, but besides the Wi-Fi streaming problem, which uh, hopefully is something that I was doing wrong, uh, it might be something to, to do with the router that I was using, it's a BT router, so it might have something to do with that. Uh, but yeah, it's a really great product, thanks to Buffalo for sending us it. Uh, if you want to check out the link to the uh, NAS in the description, be sure to go over to the Buffalo website and look that up.